It's nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> so my first question is, to start off, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your character, Rebecca, and what she is up to when audiences first meet her. Well, Rebecca is um, a modern woman of the 1850s, which at that time, women didn't really go to school or college, and but Rebecca did, and she is a writer, and she has an assignment for um, the uh, Atlantic Monthly, and that she needs to write this story, and she's kind of got writer's block at the beginning, and um, she ultimately goes to pose as a governess for the Boone family to gain access into Chapelweight, the, the titular house of, of the show, which has quite the history. And um, she she's looking for inspiration to write her gothic horror, kind of like Stephen King himself. She finds more than inspiration. Um, she goes down quite a rabbit hole, but you'll have to watch all 10 episodes to find that out. That is very exciting. Cannot wait for everyone to see it and kind of see how everything unfolds. And then my next question is, I'm curious what attracted you to the role of Rebecca and what your favorite part of portraying her is? Um, well, you know, it was crazy. When this project came to me, I, I had just sold my own show that I was going to, that I'm a writer on for the first time. Um, and I was reading Stephen King's book called On Writing. He's got a book about writing and I was reading that book when this project came to me to play Rebecca Morgan who is a writer um and so I just felt like you know if Stephen King was a very smart educated woman in the 1850s he would be Rebecca Morgan <laughs> wow that's such a great fun answer um and then my next question um is so the series is a period drama horror and with that comes really visually interesting sets some fun costumes and aesthetics and so I was wondering what it was like to sort of bring Rebecca to life in that environment oh I loved it I really love like period costumes I love wearing a corset I took one home with me most people don't do that but I um yeah I love it when I was a kid I went to this camp where you had to spend a week living in the past like you had to churn butter and go to school with a slate and it was like my favorite thing that ever happened to me um so I love that I just that's a dream to me <laughs> definitely yeah that is Definitely, I mean, very full circle from camp to then yeah, yeah. life. That is so exciting. Um, and I just have one final super quick question for you. It's what are you most excited for audiences to see? Um, oh, you know what? Quite honestly, I'm most excited for audiences to see the performances of these kids. These The three um, kids, Jennifer, Ian, and Serena, who are in this movie, um, are remarkable they're so good and i don't think audiences have seen them before and they're gonna want to see them again so very exciting cannot wait to see all of the performances for everyone to get a chance to see those um the show is amazing congratulations and thank you so much for your time thank you congrats first of all on the series i really enjoyed watching it i thought it was really well done um so i'll just jump right in um we can start so my first question is for Jason. So the story has a very distinct style and tone. It almost perfectly, it's almost perfectly terrifying in how it reimagines classic gothic horror from the aesthetics and visuals to the music, to the special effects and so much more. So I was wondering as a showrunner, how did you make all of those decisions to tell the story in the style that you did? Well, I think first and foremost, we, we really all wanted to do a, a classic gothic horror story. Uh, I, I mean, I, it hasn't been done for a little while. Uh, we all love that that genre of horror. And um, so once you decide to do that, then it's really, like you said, framing everything around it, everything down from the look and feel of it. We wanted to make sure it felt like an like a Edgar Allan Poe story. Uh, you wanted the, you know, the darkness, the, the real lighting, the naturalistic lighting, all of that stuff, um, 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 music, all the things you said, it really started from, hey, we want to do a gothic horror show. Definitely conveyed that in all of the different elements of the show. Um, and then for Donald, I'm curious if you ran into any sort of unexpected challenges while you were filming? Yeah, there were a lot of unexpected challenges. There was a big one, which was called the COVID pandemic. Um, so we, 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 uh, we 
It was an interesting thing, timing-wise, and, and how fate works out, because we went to Nova Scotia to make the show, which is, you know, quite close in, in terms of on the same latitude that Maine is, so it's a very similar environment. Um, but they were part of the maritime bubble. And so this interesting thing, when COVID was raging in the United States and other parts of Canada, the maritime bubble, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island, had locked down and they had no active transmission of COVID. So we, we went and we quarantined for two weeks and then we were like living in a world that didn't exist anywhere else. Um, so it, it made things challenging, but it also was incredibly fortunate. We, we just had this weird moment that we happened to latch on to. And many people were not able to shoot and we were able to shoot. And then he realized that the guys he hired to write the show stunk. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit. That was a big problem. That was a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, it's a unique opportunity to be able to film during COVID when not yes. a lot of people were. Yes. Um, yeah, and then next, I just have a question for Peter now. So I was curious if you could talk a little bit about what inspired you to tell this story and then adapt Stephen King's short story of Jerusalem's Lot. I think first and foremost, uh, I think was the the story itself, the atmosphere. The, 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 the wonderful atmosphere, the time period. Uh, Jason and I are from a small New England town called Mystic in Connecticut, which is rich in whaling history. And we'd always wanted to do a New England story. And uh, this would seem like a great thing where we could sort of marry our own ideas with Mr. King's and, and you know, together and build out what he had created and, and, and just make a really rich, authentic New England tale of, of, of terror. Yeah, as a fellow Connecticut person, New Englander myself, I totally felt that it could really take place in this New England area, and it was just so much fun to watch, and I want to congratulate all of you on it once again, and thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley.